seems good. Yeah. Okay, come closer. How close? <laughs> Usual clothes. Dish clothes. Dish clothes. Okay, let's go. Serious, okay, serious, serious. Right. Let's go. One, yourself. three, two, one. Back to Spoonsville. How come? Huck. Huck. I can't talk. You do it this time. <laughs> no, you should do it. Okay. It's better. Yeah. Is it better? Am yeah. I better at it? Well, why don't you just try it, no. and then I'll try, it and we'll choose which one is baby, better. Please. Okay. You know. Please, 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 we should, please. We should, we should totally go with that. We do that one. Best movie. Yeah. Okay. She's just gotta have it. She's, She's gotta, gotta have it. it. Yeah. Spike Lee, we love you. Yes. Welcome back to Spoonsville. And we are reviewing Marry Me. Yeah. Owen Wilson, Jennifer Lopez. Ah, it's great. Uh, the movie starts off with Owen Wilson, who is a math teacher, elementary school math teacher, divorced. Struggling with the relationship with his daughter. Um, he's kind of gotten into a rut, a routine that makes him very, you know, maybe a little boring in, in, her, in his daughter's eyes. And then the other character, Jennifer Lopez's character, massive, biggest pop star in the world at the moment. Owen Wilson's friend, who also works at the school, convinces him to go to J-Lo's concert. Just to maybe help, you know, find something in common with your daughter. Reconnect that thing. She'll appreciate it. And then when they go to the concert, J-Lo, they had this whole thing planned where uh, Jennifer Lopez and her partner at the time, they were going to propose on stage. He's also a performer. Um, but then right before she goes on, oof, it's got to be tough. Uh, he, she sees a video from her manager of her partner cheating on her with her assistant. So instead of going along with that, she uh, decides to pick someone randomly out of the, out of the crowd. Owen Wilson happened to be holding a Marry Me sign that I think was handed to him by his friend. So she chose him, and they just both went with it. And uh, the movie follows how how do you get two people that, um, to kind of avoid a bad media PR thing, what if they just, what if, yeah, that's the hypothetical, what if they just went with it and decided to actually be married, and, and then, you know, and these two people with such different lives, how are they going to make that work? Yeah. Yeah. So the movie is basically about them trying to make that work. Yeah. And avoiding the media frenzy of yeah. her looking like she's a crazy person. Yeah. And of course, they end up falling in love. Yeah. And it's a great movie. Yeah. And like, we, yeah. And we loved it. That's why it was great. So, initial reactions for Marry Me. Yeah. 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 I liked it. <laughs> I, liked I liked it, it too. <laughs> I liked it too. I'm laughing because I'm. <sighs> I would say I'm, I'm probably a little bit snobby. Yeah. I don't like saying that. I have, I, I would say you've I have. You've seen a lot of movies. Yeah. Which means that when you've experienced you something a lot, you just, yeah, 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 it refine, or, you know, you, you have things you're looking for in a yeah. movie to surprise you or impress yeah. you. We always yeah. talk about how we want um, rom-coms that don't insult your intelligence. Mm -hmm. and Or movies in general. Or, movies in general, but yeah. also rom-coms, because yeah. a lot of the times with rom-coms, it's all about love. and yeah. it's The good to... feelings that can be done cheaply. Exactly, and yeah. they do do it cheaply. Yeah. We complain We complain about mm -hmm. that too, how rom-coms aren't... They just... Con they're so condescending, yeah. you know? And yeah. like, okay, yeah, I know I'm, I'm here for the fluff, yeah. right? That's yeah. why I'm watching a rom-com, but, but, but I also but want you to... Put some substance in my fluff sandwich. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know? um, yeah, so this wasn't exactly, I don't know, it wasn't exactly the most, I don't know, intellectually packed <laughs> rom-com, but it was fine. It was perfect. Yeah. I didn't care. Yeah. And, um, the, and those are, well, I'm trying to think, uh, I'm trying to think of ones that are like that. Maybe when Harry met Sally, anything, yeah. say anything to a degree. Yeah, there's, there's, say anything too, because yeah. it was very much... Um, yeah. It didn't, it, it wasn't a typical, um, what, high school movie, yeah. right? It, and, yeah. I, and I love that. But I'd say that. this isn't your typical kind of flashy getting with a pop star kind of movie. But most of the, a lot of the movie is focusing just on how award shows and social media are, 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 are contorted so that they don't really mean anything yeah. or they, that people put too much value on things that are, aren't really real. So there's like certain scenes where they're walking back, they're walking their dog tank and he just stops moving and they have to stay there on the street. And there was a lot of, uh, yeah, just a lot of charming dialogue that they had with each other. It makes you want to, you know, subconsciously bring out your Owen Wilson impression, but he just delivers <laughs> lines in such a great, such a great way. Yeah. 
I don't want to exactly say bananas. Uh, Owen Wilson was perfect for the role. And of course, J-Lo was yeah. perfect for yes. the role because she is also a singer. Yeah. And um, I actually, I, I, I can't recall a lot of movies that I've seen her in, but I just don't know. I have this, um, I just like her for, yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. I, I don't like know. Her. She's just one of those celebrities that you know about, mm -hmm. you, even if you're not really interested or follow her yeah. follow her um you know her life yeah. yeah but she just makes me feel good yeah um yeah. so yeah yeah and this movie made me feel that way and then at the end i think you felt that maybe it got a bit sappy or something at the end but it was it was i didn't say that i thought you were like oh that's unnecessary or you didn't mean no that the movie. I, oh, okay. what i what was unnecessary oh, okay. was uh, the daughter losing the math math oh, okay. I felt like they could have just given it to her. Come on, oh. why not? It's well, okay. Well, you know, it also kind of feeds into the whole thing where you know it's okay. Things don't always end up the way, but you still she still did like showed that she was able to solve a very hard math problem for her age or any age, and then you learned how to deal with things in her own way by dancing. You know, like it it, it, it was. I I actually thought it was. I liked it better that way because then it wasn't everything working out, it, it's also a good lesson. Okay, you know? that's fair. When it really knocks it out of the park, it is nice to have those. That's actually probably one of the most, I don't know, typical things this movie did was yeah. at the end. You Everybody know, just was happy. Every, everyone in the movie yeah. had found someone else. And that was great. And I, was, I, like I like that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like that too. I some, like that it was- Some people that were the actors, other people that were just random people. I don't yeah. know if they were relatives of people who worked on the movie, but it was sweet. Yeah, so uh, at, at the end of the movie, right? Yeah. During the credits, yeah. they have random people coming in. Yeah. I wonder if they're real. I just love that. I love yeah. that so much. Yeah. So yeah, overall, I just really don't have no, a lot I to complain very about. Happy I, about it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. At first, I was thinking, oh, is this only going to be kind of like a smirk, kind of chuckly kind of humor? But there were parts I found just really funny. Yeah. And, and it I... was, and again, like it was, uh, I thought a pretty honest movie considering how big, a, a pro I imagine with JLo putting her production yeah. company behind it. And they were really trying to pull the curtain back, maybe because she's gotten sick of it. She's, she's, I don't know, I think she's in her 50s at this point and she wants probably her great. fans to, and it looks great. And, and wants her fans to know, you know, a lot of this is just superficial. It's not real, a lot of this. You don't yeah. really know me. But I always I always like movies that try and, yeah. you know. Honestly, the movie isn't one of those movies where I, I'm going to say, oh, God, profound. But it was incredibly yeah. realistic. There was so yeah. much more realistic than I thought. Yeah. It was, I felt that the characters were exactly how, uh, well, not exactly, because people are different, mm -hmm. but... Um, there wasn't anything that I thought, oh, okay, well, that person mm -hmm. wouldn't do that or that yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Pretty much everything did make sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because a lot of the things, for example, um, J-Lo's character, right? She's a celebrity and she is going through, she's dated a lot of guys and she always gets hurt. And... You know, one person might say, well, that's not realistic. Why would she keep dating losers? Or oh, I hate using that word. Sorry. But you know what I mean. I, or do you know? Oh, yeah, bad guys. Why would she keep dating bad guys? Bum farts. Uh, one would think, or someone might question my perspective of uh, the validity of how of, of J-Lo's character. I think it was completely valid, right? She's dating a lot of guys, celebrities, and she keeps, and they keep hurting her. But... That is actually very normal, right? A lot of people, there are a lot of guys and, you know, women who've dated people that weren't right for them. And they keep, and they, they keep, keep doing, repeating, repeating the, the same, same thing. Yeah. And on top of that, never reflect, never look inward. Mm. Look inward, mm. right? What are you doing? Why do you keep going back to the same right. person, right? And until you deal with that stuff, yeah. you're going to keep going, dating the same person, right? right? And I think that was realistic. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with some with what they did. Where I'm just gonna go and yeah. date someone I would I would never date ever in life. Yeah. yeah. However, people do that too. Yep. There are human yep. beings who do that. My philosophy isn't yep. let me try something different in yep. that way. I yep. would rather try yeah. date someone who I I feel yep. compatible yeah. with, not just some random guy. Yeah. And if things aren't working out, I'm like, okay, what am I doing? Diff what am yeah. I doing? Yeah. Why do I keep attracting the same kind of thing? There comes a point in your life where you realize I keep doing the same thing. I keep attracting the same kind of people. At some point you have to agree. You have to settle with the reality that it is you. Mm -hmm. And again, I think back to the characters, I, th I felt that Owen Wilson's character was perfect. Yeah. 
the things how he was yeah. um people yeah. are I, he sleeps at what eight nine yeah, yeah. i sleep yeah. and i get i go to bed at eight and i read before yeah. until i've had i sleep there are human it's beings who do idea. that yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah i like the line um yeah, is it weird? Uh, that he that kills guy? the hair piece. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, taking a, that's her a note. Hair piece out and just <laughs> and immediately. He just steps on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's just a lot of charm to it. Almost there was it's a, always got yeah. charm. Yeah. She's oh, got charm. Yeah. A lot of charm. Yeah. I like the Game of Thrones Sam Samwell, I think is his name in Game of Thrones. I'm glad he's doing stuff. I liked yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. There were a lot of tangible um truths, I would yeah. say, in the movie that and I like that mm -hmm. it was they did that without trying to be um, some incredible work of art that is just going to stand the test of time in terms of rom coms, yeah, right? Yeah. They were they did it all very subtly, and it was just great. It was yeah, just these little flowed. things that they yeah. threw in. It's one of those movies that at the end everyone just starts to become friends. It seems, and it's nice. Yeah. I like it sometimes when you just. It's nice to have a movie like that. Yeah. Yeah, the music. Great production oh, value, music. great music. Yeah, the music yeah. was actually very good, very yeah. upbeat. Yeah. We were both kind of... Yeah. I really have very little to complain about. The oh. only... Okay, before I forget. Okay, before you forget, before I forget, who should not forget first? She was saying while they were walking the dog that she's like, Bastion gave me this and it represents or it means to me, don't ever let them knock you down. Like, like keep fighting for yourself. Don't let them get to you. And she says, you know, and I like the part where she says... Not everyone's all bad, you know? It's Otherwise, it's complicated. The world would be easier if you could just say it, but that, and I, I like that. Yeah, that's Again, an that's example. Again, that's one of those yeah, things, that's, that's throwing what I was nuance saying. into movies yeah. like that, where it's just like, yeah, I mean, basically, so Bastion is meant to be probably the scummiest of the whole movie, but then I like that, you're like, yeah, but even people that will, will, will do something like that, that will cheat or whatever, they'll still be parts of them because he's probably also faced the same struggle where people weren't taken seriously early on in his career and he's, he understands that same struggle. So even though at the end of the day, he needs to work out some stuff on his own, but yeah, you can't, no one's wholly good or wholly bad. Yeah. And I like that stuff. It was also a good kind of, a bit of a Prince and the Popper kind of thing, but you know, where they challenge each other to try and, adapt a little bit to the other person's lifestyle that always adds for good comedy and good perspective and it's just yeah it's just I don't know. yeah it had a little of everything and yeah. it was just a nice rom-com you know what i liked about it too it unlike some other movies we tried to finish recently um there was it was not mean-spirited really the mean-spirited stuff only came from the people that were meant to be say at the math competition you've got the the guy that's the other coach and then the kids are being mean to Owen Wilson's daughter, but it's meant to be that way. But everything else, the humor for the most part is meant to be sweet or like from a good place. Yeah. But other movies, you'll start them off and you're like, this is, I get that they're trying to be funny or this is supposed to be a joke, but everyone's just being assholes to each other. Yeah. I don't like that stuff. Yeah. I don't you know? like that this stuff. This was a either. nice movie. Yeah. I do feel yeah. uh, that other movies overdo stuff. Yeah. And I don't know, I think they probably do that because they want you, they want to set a certain tone with mm -hmm. a certain character yeah. for the viewer to quickly catch on that mm -hmm. that's the bad guy and that's the good guy. Yeah. But I don't think it's necessary. We knew that uh, Sebastian or yeah. Bastian was a bad guy yeah. without him, without ha them demonizing him. Yeah. And that was fine. Yeah. Again, everything was so subtle, but also very clear. Yeah. And everything came together really yeah. nicely. Honestly, yeah. judging it, as a as a rom com, I would give it at least like a, a nine out of ten. Yeah, I I would I would, I would not only would I watch it again, I would recommend it to people. Overall, I just really enjoyed myself. Yeah, I yeah. really did. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Um, I already went into the movie kind of feeling like it wasn't it was going to be one of those typical rom coms, and so I was already I had my guard up. <laughs> the first, the first note I made was, uh, not very real, not realistic. <laughs> and it, dad is emotionally inept because why don't parents just say what they mean? <laughs> Kids aren't dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the tone going in for me. Yeah. The more you go down the notes, it's just it gets, it gets love, better. It's love. Just love. <laughs> yeah. Guy nice, but divorced. What he do? <laughs> <laughs> Which this is what we also do too, right? When we're, we, after watching a movie, it's yeah. never, 
the production value. Yeah, of course, yeah. we, we said that here. We're reviewing, yeah. okay? But That's we'll talk about the characters. Yeah. That person was so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Why would they do that? Yeah. And then we talk about, yeah, but life, people do that yeah. in general, yeah. right? Yeah. But also, I'm, I'm very much that person that I love the, the whole, what is it, you know, if you keep trying to put a circle into a square peg, you're always going to feel like a failure. You're always going to feel like it's not working out. And that's how I look at movies, is if you're trying to fit a feel-good movie into a, a movie that's, you know, about figuring out the human soul, yeah, yeah. it's not going to fit properly. Exactly. It's not going to do what it's, but it's not what it's meant to do. Yeah. And put I it feel, in the feel-good hole. Yeah, put it in the feel-good hole. <laughs> Didn't come out the way I'm, you know what I mean. This movie fits than. perfectly in the feel-good hole <laughs> that it was created for. That'll be our... It was designed for that yeah, and nothing Mary, else. Mary Let it me not... gets you right in the feel-good hole. Exactly. And I think the most unrealistic character might have been um, Owen Wilson's friend who was I think was also a teacher or, or whatever but she was funny in it like I liked and she was in this played the most mean-spirited humor but I, I just like her she's a comedian I forget her name if you bet she's in School of Rock maybe the most unrealistic in terms of but it's because she's she's a comedian so they're like ah just be funny just yeah. do, what, do what you do but it yeah. was good and, and, and yeah yeah I guess I, I would I would have to agree too although it wasn't as bad mm -hmm. honestly it wasn't as bad as yeah. other some some movies you just uh, yeah, just, I don't. It just it makes it dirty. puts you off everybody in the movie. Yeah, you know, it, it, it yeah. An asshole. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's pretty much it, right? I don't know. Yeah, do I have any more notes? Let me see. What we have here. Yeah, I just I really liked it. Yeah, I, I really, really liked it time. too. I, I feel great. It makes me feel really good. Yeah, it just feels really good. I we and it it just finishes you off. You yeah. feel good throughout the movie, and then they throw in the people that we assume are yeah. the couples that we assume yeah. are real. Just some really sweet just so marriage sweet. stories or yeah. couple stories. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in love, this is a great movie. Yes. You're gonna fall apart. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you're not in love and you just got broken up with, you might hate the movie. Right. Or it might give you hope. Or it might give you hope because it also it, had yeah. where they have a discussion where she says, "Oh, but you know, fifty well, forty eight percent of marriages end divorce." But she's like, "I have a fifty two work." Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, an optimist." And she's yeah. like, "Well, just Glass keep half even half if it's one in a billion. There's still isn't it worth still so." It's, yeah. it's quite an optimistic movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the, the people at the end. It was so sweet. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, old, the old couple that they were in the same hospital being birds. So they started out in diapers and now they're in diapers yeah, 81 so, years later. So cute. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah, about it. That's it. Uh, check it out. Check it honestly. out. Nine out of ten honestly. ripe tomatoes. Yeah, yeah ripe tomatoes. <laughs> nine, nine ripe tomatoes. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Watch it. Please. Please. Don't wait till next Valentine's to watch it. Watch it yeah, now. Yeah, watch it now. It's no. Valentine's week. Yes, it's Valentine's <laughs> week. It should have a week. You got March break as a week. Valentine's doesn't have a week. Doesn't have a week. Only one day a year for love. Ooh. One day a year for love. That's it. Uh, that's yeah. That's it. So you're going to make it count. Okay. Watch it anytime you want. It's yeah. great. All right. All right. Thanks, folks. <laughs> Sweet.